That's all right. There was no real other way to kind of end that segment other than something like that. So we shall now move on to Charlotte Flair, who unfortunately is injured right now. But fortunately for her, she has resigned with WWE. According to Fightful Select on Tuesday, Charlotte agreed to a contract extension with WWE. According to Fightful, this deal was agreed upon before Dominic and Rey Mysterio resigned with the company. So that makes it one of the first extensions of the TKO merger. They said it was, quote, a huge money increase and one of the highest paid deals to a woman in WWE history, end quote. Flair recently suffered a torn ACL, torn MCL, and meniscus in a match that took place on SmackDown on December 8th against uh, Asuka, I believe. Was it Io? No, it was Asuka. Yes, it was Asuka. So she's going to be out, obviously, for quite some time. But, uh, Tom, that type of, of knee injury is, you know, that's used to be career-ending no matter what sport you were in. Obviously, with the great technological and medical advancements we've made plus just the birth of dr james andrews down there at the uh the birmingham orthopedic center down there uh you know things are are much better than they were but it seems as if because it's been hinted you know a lot of talk about nine months at least she'll be out like it sounds like that's going to truly be at least there have been multiple people that have indicated to me that this could be well up to a year, maybe even longer. Mike, I myself in my right knee have a cadaver ACL. I had to have a complete knee reconstruction ACL MCL meniscus after a UFC fight in 2013 in Sweden in which I tore that knee in the first, well, I didn't tear it. My opponent tore my knee in the first two minutes with a throw, and I came back on one leg to win via submission, one of the proudest moments of my career. But unfortunately, I was on the shelf for two years after that. Mm. Uh, I suffered another injury as I was on the comeback trail about a year later. So there have been a lot of advancements in this sort of surgery, obviously the rehab protocols have gotten better as time has gone by, but I wouldn't be surprised if a year from now, we're looking at Charlotte making her big return on the stage at the Royal rumble. But you know, for the next, what do they say? Five years, even if Charlotte has a bad wooing, she's still going to be the queen of the WWE. I'm going to call Stephen P. New and sue you for doing that. C.J. Perry has also been on the injured reserve. Let's, you can't call it the disabled list anymore. i got to take the DL out of my vernacular. You're not supposed to say that anymore. It's the injured reserve list. So C.J. Perry has been on that, and she's commented for the first time since being rushed into emergency surgery on Monday due to an infection in her right hand and arm. Perry revealed what caused the issue on her Instagram, saying, quote, I've been in the hospital since Saturday fighting a fatal infection that came from getting a small splinter backstage at work this past Wednesday. Please keep me in your prayers and everyone really take care of any cuts you get as a small splinter can turn into a deadly infection. Love all of you guys and thank you to everyone one who has reached out, end quote. Perry first revealed the issue on Saturday when she was pulled from her scheduled appearances in CMLL last Friday night and Saturday on Collision. Um, thankfully, I guess in the midst of you stealing all of the catering as you were entitled to for everything that that company has done to you, Filthy, you didn't pick up any injuries back there, any splinters, or you get too close to John Moxley, you don't know what you're going to pick up. Yeah, the wrestling ring is a dangerous, dangerous place, especially with these maniacs floating around in AEW. And I don't know if she picked that up in the ring as she was ringside. I don't know. I don't know where this happened, but the photo evidence that oh, she provided oh, just terrible. horrendous, oh. horrific. One of the worst infections I've ever seen. I, I read this and I thought, OK, it's a finger infection. How bad could this be? Exactly. Yeah. Good golly. <laughs> Just absolutely grotesque. Yeah. Just, and you could see why. Because at first it's it, like, too, it's like her it could have been finger, fatal. 
Yeah, her finger looked like Grimace on his dying days. <laughs> it's just, it's horrible, but at least everything seems to hopefully be working themselves out. Hopefully the antibiotics working through CJ Perry so she can get out of that hospital and back on TV as fast as possible. We're going to get through this break as fast as possible as well, too, and come back from Wrestling Observer Live. Back on the show, Mike Semper, BB, and Filthy Tom Lawler here with you, Wrestling Observer Live on a Wednesday. Are you tired of hearing about wrestlers who are all busted up and broken up and suffering maladies? Well, tough. Xavier Woods is dealing with an injury right now. PW Insider reported on Tuesday that Woods is banged up and has been taken off the road to heal up, with the report noting that Woods is in Birmingham, which uh, was in Birmingham a few weeks ago, which is the home of the Andrews Sports Medicine and Orthopedic Center. The extent of his injuries is not known, nor is the length of time that he might be off the road, although he has been pulled from advertisements for this next week's post-Christmas live event tour. There was an angle on Raw where Kofi Kingston was playing Santa Claus, or Kofi Claus it is, and that led to him being attacked by Ludwig Kaiser and Giovanni Vinci after he presented them Cole earlier on in the night. Jey Uso ran out, made the save, and then wrestled Kaiser in a one-on-one -on -one match, which Jey Uso won. Woods last competed in Tag Team Turmoil on November 27th. There is no live Raw next week as they are going with a best-of show on both Raw and SmackDown next week, so he'll have some time to maybe heal up a little bit. We'll see if he if he is able to come back, if the New Day and uh, Imperium is going to be one of the battles that Kaiser and Vinci are going to be fighting on behalf of getting back into Gunther's good graces. So there's that. There's also Ray Phoenix being pulled from the Prestige Wrestling Show. Uh, on Tuesday, they announced that he will be replaced by Leo Rush for their January 5th show in Portland. The event now will uh, is made official Rush against Samurai Del Sol. So I guess this really isn't that big of a surprise considering that Phoenix has been out of action since October. His last match was the one on October 10th, titled Tuesday, uh, where he wrestled uh, Orange Cassidy and dropped the belt there. He was not supposed to win that title as he defeated John Moxley for it uh, during the Grand Slam show, which Moxley was knocked loopy uh, on, and then Phoenix came out of that match with an injury as well, or at least suffering worse from an injury that he said he had been suffering with for a while. So dudes are just falling all over the place here, Tom. Well, that is one of the downsides to this sort of action-packed style. And another Ask thing is that stardom. Yeah. The general size of the wrestlers also being smaller, you know, is going to lend to it just being harder to recover. You have less padding, you have less muscle uh, to protect you on the bump. So when you're out there giving it your all and driving your neck and spine into the mat, driving your opponent's head, neck, and spine into the mat repeatedly over and over, kicking out, doing it once again in a short time frame, and then getting on an airplane and flying across the country and doing it again another day later. Uh, you're bound to have these sort of injuries. And I remember Phoenix, Phoenix being <clears throat> roughed up coming out of that Moxley match, and it just never it never let down, you know, until he lost, he lost that title. So hopefully all these guys get better, but... It's part of the business, unfortunately. Luckily for each of them, it doesn't sound as if it's anything too serious. Uh, and everybody will be back and better than ever. Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and click that notify button, and you'll never miss a video again.